Today in the shop, we're gonna talk about tires. We had a GMC Sierra 1500 in the shop today, and I thought it was a perfect opportunity to talk about tires. We do a ton of tires here, and because of that, we've invested in the latest and greatest technology from Hunter Engineering, both for tire installation as well as for tire balancing. Now you saw in the clips that this Silverado, we took off some old tires and we put on some new Falcon Wild Peak AT3s. We really love the Falcon Wild Peak. It's an awesome all-terrain tire, and we generally recommend tires because we like how they balance. So I wanted to talk a little bit about tire balance because that's one thing that we see a lot of issues with on a regular basis. Now with our machine from Hunter Engineering, we can, do, we can measure two different things. The first is tire balance. The other is essentially what we call road force or how out of round the tire is. Now, when we look at our machine, we can see the screen here behind us, and it tells us exactly where to put the wheel weights, whether it's on the inside part of the inside of the wheel or the outside portion of the outside of the wheel. We generally don't put any wheel weights on the outside lip of the wheel, unless it's a steel wheel because they can take it a little bit better. We always, we use black stick-on weights because most of the wheels that we use are black. We do have silver stick on weights for silver wheels, of course, or chrome wheels, but black I think looks a little bit better. We try and hide the weights, of course, as much as possible. I wanna show you over here on the machine, this tire that Travis is working on right now, because he's in the process of balancing it. You can see there, there's two different measurements. One is on the left side is for the outside portion of the inside of the wheel. The one that's yellow is for the inside portion of the wheel. And what we wanna do is get those numbers that are on the screen to zero. Once we do that, we know that the, the tire is perfectly balanced. Now, there's another reading that we look at, and that is to tell how out of round a tire is. And we see, when we see an excessive road force, there's not a whole lot we can do for it except get another tire in. On our machine right here is, do you see that on there, the road force? Not till you're done, I guess. Right, okay, right here. Right here is the road force measurement amount. Generally, we will reject anything over, what's the number? Well, on this one, it would be the 26, so it's kind of right on the edge. Right on the edge, so generally 0 0.026. I guess it, it, that number changes depending yeah, on what size uh, tire. Uh, like a passenger tire versus truck a light truck tire. More so, like right, truck like tires have a little bit larger of a road force acceptability than just a regular passenger car tire. These are actually what's going on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. So, generally tires that are have excessive road force, you're gonna feel a lot of issues like hopping in the back or steering wheel shaking in the front. So that's why we don't even let them come through. If they have excessive road force, we really say, hey, it's time to get a different tire and make sure that the, the road force is as low as possible. Of course, we wanna make sure that they're balanced well because you can have very similar symptoms if a tire is out of balance. Now, a lot of people talk about other balancing techniques like DynaBeads or uh, powder that goes inside the tire. In our experience, we haven't had a whole lot of luck with it. It seems like once a month we get a truck in the shop or a Jeep that's got internal balancing beads and they don't provide really good handling characteristics and customers complain about how they feel the shaking or just some weird symptoms th with those. So we always vacuum them out. We've got a little shop vac for them and we'll put them on our road force machine and we can get perfect measurements. So just for an up close look at this road force machine, one thing that's cool about it is of course it spins. That's how we can get balance, but it also has this big drum roller in the back and that drum roller does a couple things. One is it measures how out of round it is. It gets us that road force number, but it also will seat the beads on brand new tire installations so that the tire is perfectly centered on the wheel. So hopefully this was a little bit of an intro on tires and balancing and what we do here on a daily basis. If you like this video, check out the rest of our videos on YouTube. We also post them on Instagram and Facebook. 
While you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you've got a project, check out the showcase section on our website because it might give you some inspiration for your project of your own. Thanks for watching. See ya.